talk today on something that's really kind of odd, right? Back when I was a very much younger individual, for some strange reason, well, I can tell you the reason, and I'm going to tell you in a minute here, um, I used to think that everybody thought more or less like me. Now, I was a loner, and I was an outsider, so as far as it goes, the idea that everybody thought, thought like me is really kind of dim-witted. And, but the reason that I had that idea was that I was conceited. I was big-headed. And I still maybe am a little bigger-headed than I ought to be by this point in my life. But I want to point something out, and that is that for a lot of people, they have that same problem. They look at people, and they think that those people think like them. So I want to talk today on this subject that comes out of that, which is not all the same. That's what we're going to discuss on the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host, I'm Kurt. Today is Wednesday, the 2nd of March of 2022. Welcome to everyone who's here on Rumble, on the podcast, on YouTube, on BitChute, on CloudHub, on my Facebook page, that page, that's the Kurt's Religion and Politics page, on Kurt's Religion and Politics.locals.com, on Minds, M-I-N-D-S dot com, on the Kurt's Religion and Politics a group there primarily. You'll see me elsewhere sometimes as well. On Parlor, on Gab, and pretty much anywhere else you happen to be seeing me. And again, today's subject is going to be not all the same. I'm going to go ahead and go through my notes real quick, and then we'll kind of take a little bit of time to talk about this. I've told people any number of times when I was a young man, I looked at the folks around me as wimps or and cop-outs. Why? They were always taking time off for illness and various kinds of injuries. I pretty much never did that. By the way, excuse my kid if you hear him in the background. He's home today. I learned something that's just a reality. Everybody is different. If you don't, or if you think I'm sorry, this is only true in the physical realm, let me make it plain. It's even more true in the marketplace of ideas. What we assume or believe is true, others would argue with so strongly that it's hard to imagine just how much we disagree. Unfortunately, many will argue from unfounded, illogical places, but nonetheless, there are some who will argue from good places as well. They won't have the data to back up what they say, those ones who argue from the unfounded and illogical places. Others will do their best to try to make it look like things they know to be incorrect or untrue are not so for a variety of reasons. All that said, though, the point here is just because a commercial or advertisement doesn't work on you, as a, by way of example, doesn't mean others won't buy into whatever's being sold. You may look uh, at how, how folks try to get others to invest time and money into things and think, because I don't believe that, nobody else can or will either. Let me make things plain. Nothing could be further from the truth. If people putting, quote, propaganda, end of quote, out there, didn't expect it to work, they'd stop doing so. To be fair, such folks realize a return of 10% most of the time, is pretty substantial. Think about it. If you get uh, some idea uh, out to 100,000 people and you, quote, only, end of quote, get 10%, uh, a believer, believing rate, that's still 10,000 people who believe you. So when you say things like, I can't understand why somebody ever thought to do such a series, uh, such a series uh, of logic would ever fly, uh, you need to know just one thing. They're not counting on it necessarily working for you. So long as they can get folks to buy in at some reasonable rate, they're happy and consider their advertising dollar well spent. This is why such folks do as they do. Now, getting back to the original idea, because this is really the important part, in just the same way, it would be silly for me to assume that the majority of people around me believe the same things that I do. It probably is silly for you to do so as well. If you really got a chance to sit down and talk to a bunch of different people about various things, 
it's a really good bet that you would find that you did not agree with them if they felt like they could be honest with you about what it was that they were saying or you were talking about. I've gotten to the point in my life where I will readily express my disbelief, my disagreement, and so forth, and where I will readily accept other people being willing to argue for what it was, for what it is that they think is good, useful, or whatever. But I want you to understand something. Some percentage of people will believe things that are downright inane and people who are advertising and so forth are able to pick those people up as users or buyers of whatever product or service as a result of the fact that those people really aren't thinking very well. And people have pointed out this is why a straight democracy is a bad idea, in fact, is that there are a lot of people out there who think things that are just downright dumb when it comes to lots of things. They think, for example, that government will do a good job of running things. And I'm just here to tell you, as a rule, that's almost never the case. Um, so, so yeah, the you need to understand that people around you probably don't think like you lots of the time. I think it's more true for me than it is for other people, by the way. I think probably when I think something I have to realize that the chances are real good other people would not agree with me. I honestly believe that's true. Um, but that doesn't mean that people out there who think that everybody in the world agrees with them are, are right in what they believe. That doesn't mean that at all. Uh, and, and you'll forgive me for saying so, but as much as it's true for me, I bet it's true for you as well. I bet there are a lot of things that you believe. Well, so okay, so let's. There's an old expression that came to my mind while I when I started talking about this, and the expression was, uh, "Ask ten people their uh, their thoughts on things, get eleven opinions." Right? Maybe more. Sometimes um, I remember I tell people this periodically. This little story. This is one of the shine a light kind of stories about how people think and so forth. I remember people talking about President Bill Clinton back when he was president. And I remember a lady saying that he should be hung by his private parts for cheating on his wife and for being a, a wretch, right? A lech and a wretch. And then I remember that same person later on when we started to talk about his policies saying, just let the guy do his job. Like, what, who he was, what his character was, made no difference at all. They couldn't even maintain a single idea about one person. They couldn't even maintain a single idea about one person. Opinions vary wildly. They, they vary widely and wildly. Okay? And, th and the thing that you need to understand is that that's how things work. And lots of times you're better off to sit, shut up, and listen. And I don't do this nearly as well as I should. To sit, shut up, and listen. To figure out what it is that people believe, you know, what they hold true and dear and so forth. And to and to go, oh, okay. And then to actually think about what they're saying and address what they're saying from a position of thoughtfulness. Okay? But the, the thing that I want to get across today is don't be like what I was like when I was young. Do not make the ass assumption do not come to the conclusion that everybody th thinks like I do. In fact, don't even come to the conclusion everybody should think like I do. Look, my, among my own family, there was this. there's this wide variety of different modes of thought. Why? Because different people have gone through different things and thought about things different ways, and that's okay. I'm not saying that all of us are right all the time. We're not. In fact, I would, uh, I would imagine some of the time all of us are wrong, and I would imagine other times this one is more right than that one. You know, but my point is simple. Don't assume that everybody around you thinks the same way as everybody else, because I'm here to tell you that is not how that works. People think differently. Uh, people are not all the same. It's both in how they think and how they act and so forth. Okay, I need to go ahead and wrap up. This is the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. Uh, I am your host, Tom Curtin. Today is Wednesday, the 2nd of March of 2022. That means tomorrow will be Thursday. So today being basically the middle of the work week for a lot of folks. And tomorrow, Thursday, the 3rd of March of 2022. Um, 
Thank you for everyone who's been here on Rumble, on the podcast, on YouTube, on BitChute, on CloudHub, on my Facebook page. That would be the Kurtz Religion and Politics page on Facebook. Uh, Kurtz Religion and Politics.locals.com, where you will find my content as well. Um, uh, let's see, Minds.com, where I have the Kurtz Religion and Politics group uh, as well, and some other places that I periodically post content. Also on Parlor, Gab, and wherever else you happen to find me, uh, you know, thank you for coming along today. The subject for today has been not all the same, and tomorrow we're going to talk about Master of Circumstances, and that has to do with, quite frankly, God, and how I and others tend to look at the world, quite frankly, very badly and incorrectly. I do it all the time. I complain about circumstances and so so forth, but I'll get into that more tomorrow. Uh, remember that you can give me a boxing glove on Rumble if you want to do that. That's a Rumble. You can give me a plus or a minus there as well, a like or a dislike, essentially, positive or negative feedback, which you can do anywhere you see me. In fact, you can give me whatever feedback you think is appropriate. That includes commenting on my content, and I will do my best to try and pay attention to your con- co- uh, comments if I know that it's out there. Out there. And uh, if I feel that it's reasonable, respond. If not, I might give you a... A like or a dislike, usually it will be a like. If I find that your comments are advertising or similar, I will probably delete them gleefully, just so that you're aware. I uh, hope that you're doing well today. hope everything is going well for you, and hopefully we will see you again on that Thursday edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This podcast was recorded on Wednesday, the 2nd of March of 2022. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's Religion and Politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurtz Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional or maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurtz Re- Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurt's Religion and Politics as well. I have I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with a with an S dot kpshubert.com. That's podcasts dot kpshubert.com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the Daily Summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.